Look at that, y'all. Mmm. Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. I'm going to be showing y'all how I made this delicious banana pudding. Whether you call it nana pudding, nana pudding, banana pudding, whatever. It is good. It's not from scratch. But I promise y'all it is very good. It's our favorite. My hubby loves this banana pudding, y'all. It is so good. And it's easy, too. So stick around. And... We'll make it for y'all. Hey, mountain friends. I am going to be whipping up something very special today, a banana pudding, okay? Um, this is my favorite banana pudding. I am not a fan of homemade or from scratch banana pudding, and I'll tell you why. I'm not a fan of custards. Like, homemade banana pudding that I grew up on, um, it was cooked. It was made out of eggs, just like the old fashioned from scratch custard. I'm not a fan of the eggy taste. I don't like it. Okay. And I really don't like meringue. I am not a fan of meringue. Um, and so the banana pudding I grew up on was like made from scratch. It had a meringue topping. They used to put it in the oven and let it brown, which is all well and good. I ate it when I was little, but as I got older, I'm like, nah, I'm, I don't really like it. But y'all, this banana pudding is delectable. It's so good. I learned about uh, a little, I learned about this recipe um, quite a few years ago from a little town, from my hometown. Uh, there was a restaurant in our hometown that had the best banana pudding. And a family member of mine worked there and shared with us how they made it. So this is how I'm going to make banana pudding. So you need a box of instant vanilla pudding. You're going to need uh, about two uh, containers of Cool Whip. I love the extra creamy Cool Whip because it's actually made with real uh, whipped cream. You're going to need about one and a half cups of whole milk or half and half. I'm using half and half today, but it does need to at least be whole milk, okay? Uh, this is one of the secret ingredients. You need a can of sweetened condensed milk. Uh, you're going to need some vanilla wafers. This is, I won't use the entire box, but you're going to use uh, some good vanilla wafers. Use, I like vanilla brand. Uh, I think they taste better. Uh, and you're going to need around four cups of sliced bananas. And you want to make sure your bananas are not really green or overly ripe either. Just right but uh, that's what this is going to have in it, y'all. So I'm excited. So let's get started. So we're going to get started. We're going to mix in our sweetened condensed milk. You can use a hand mixer if you want. But I like to use my stand mixer and I like to use a whisk attachment. So I'm doing this one-handed. I'll have to scrape that out. And you want to put your whole can of the sweetened condensed milk in and your milk. This is one and a half cups. I'm using half and half. It's really cold also. So let me scrape this out. So I got all the rest of the sweetened condensed milk in there. And I'm going to just I have my mixer on about a two. And I'm just going to whisk that up until it's all so the condensed milk and the milk is all combined i don't want to whip it up like whip whip i just want it combined and stirred up really well and i'm just going to do that about another minute all right, sorry guys, but I thought I had my camera on, but I just added the package of the pudding mix in that, okay? I just added it, so I'm going to let that blend up just for about another minute, and then I'm going to stir it, make sure it's all um, off the bottom. So at this point, I stirred it, and I turned my mixer up on about a uh, three, and I'm gonna let that mix until it starts to thicken, and it will get thick. And once it gets thickened, 
uh, we're going to fold in um, about one, we're going to fold in about one and a half, uh, one bowl of the Cool Whip and about half of the other one and the rest of the Cool Whip we'll use for the top. Okay, now it is thickened up quite a bit, but I am going to put it in the refrigerator probably for about 30 minutes and let it keep. It will continue to set up and be more like a thick pudding. And I'm going to get my bananas sliced up. And once that is a little thicker, I will fold in the Cool Whip. Okay, y'all, while the pudding is uh setting up a little better uh i'm going to slice the bananas and um like i said bananas your bananas are it's best to use ripe bananas but not overly ripe or not under ripe <laughs> if you can find them like that but um i as I mentioned, I'm not a fan of from scratch banana pudding. I just, I am not. And, uh, but I think this is very good. And I admire anybody who can make from scratch banana pudding. Um, but I just don't like it. And I think this is a really good alternative if you um, don't, if you don't like it either, or if you just don't want to make it. Uh, this is really a really good alternative and um, so you're going to need four cups of bananas sliced and as you can see I just sliced mine by hand and if there are any bad spots on your bananas cut them off cut it off make sure you get the strings off see that one has like a little bad spot so I'm going to cut that off so I just slice them like that right there. And this is just like any other pudding dessert or whatever. It is best to make it the day before it gets better because you want your wafers to get soft and um, all the flavors to come together. And it's gonna be so good, y'all. And it's so creamy, it's very good. And I remember having this when we went to, um, the restaurant that I'm talking about was called the Sugar Shack. All right, it was a it was a gas station restaurant that was in the back of the gas station um, when I, gosh, from years ago, had the best home cooked food, best home cooked spaghetti you ever had, and um, the owner there um, made the best stuff, y'all, and she made this banana pudding. And I am so glad I got a hold of the way she made it. I mean, we made homemade banana. I mean, we made banana pudding out of um, box pudding mix, but we didn't know that she added the sweetened condensed milk in it and the extra Cool Whip in it. It's just so good. So, all right, I about got these done. And when we come back, we'll start putting it all together. Okay, y'all, the pudding is set up and it is nice and thick so i'm going to fold in the cool whip now okay and i just want to let you guys know uh the recipe calls for four cups of bananas um i ended up using more because i like a lot of bananas and there are there's five large bananas here okay so that's a little more than four cups which is fine you want a good amount of bananas in it put ever how much you want so but like I always say with any kind of recipe, as long as you put in the right combination, it doesn't really matter if something's a little more than the, than, um, or a little less, as long as you get them all in the combination. Um, but this is how, this is really good y'all. And the extra bananas I think is uh, really important because you want a lot of good bananas in every bite. So this is good and thick. As you can see, it's, nice and set up and it's creamy so i want to show you guys now if you did not if you don't have cool whip or don't want to use cool whip and you want to use your own whipped cream it'll be about three cups of homemade whipped cream you can you can whip your own uh, uh make your own whipped cream if you want with heavy whipping cream 
and it would be about three cups if you did that, if you wanted to do that. I have used homemade whipped cream, but when I discovered that Cool Whip made an extra creamy brand, I use this a lot because it just saves time. And because real, uh, original Cool Whip really has no dairy, you all, it really doesn't. And I won't use original Cool Whip because I just don't like it. Um, uh, but the extra creamy Cool Whip, I like because it does have real cream in it and it tastes really good. So anytime you're doing, when you're folding in whipped cream or the Cool Whip, you don't wanna overdo it. You just wanna fold it in like that right there. Get it all in. Do round circular, like that right there, circular motion. Just gets it all in. And I'm gonna use a little more. I'm just gonna use just a couple of dollops more out of uh, this other bowl because I am gonna put some Cool Whip on top. So I did about that much more Cool Whip, okay? And Kenzie's over here licking the bowl, <laughs> the Cool Whip bowl. I love Cool Whip. Yeah. The extra creamy really tastes better oh, than yeah. Kenzie. Yeah. Yeah. If In case you didn't it, know, yeah, if you freeze it, it tastes like delicious. ice cream. My dad likes it froze. I've always done that at Mammals. Yeah. So see, that is so creamy and velvety. So it's ready to put together. So I'm gonna put mine in one of these um, pans. And we'll just show you guys how I'm gonna do it. So you wanna put, you wanna start out with your cookies on the bottom. And I am, you know, I I love, I love to shop at Aldi. I love to, you know, I shop at Aldi a lot. But like I said in the beginning of this video, for me personally, Gotta use vanilla brand. Yeah, I think the vanilla brand so good. is important. That's in, I don't know if it's upside down or what. The vanilla brand, y'all, is so good. I love these things. I love them with peanut butter. <laughs> well, I used to make little sandwiches out of them, put peanut butter. But um, And when you open them, you get that it whiff smells. of vanilla in there. And they're so good. So you just want to... That's probably too much to start out. I'll probably get some of them out. You just kind of just want a single layer. You don't need a bunch on the bottom. That's good. Okay. There's a good single layer. And you're going to put your pudding on there. And I just like this. You want to make sure that all of your cookies um, get covered with your pudding mixture, so they'll have um, be able to be soaked in. Get it all soaked in really good. <coughs> And bananas. Mm. Want a good amount of them. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna keep repeating. Just like I did, a layer of crack, uh, they're not crackers, a layer of cookies, a layer of your pudding and a layer of bananas until you get it all 
So it's all done. I am going to spread this out, spread these out just a little. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing this, and when we come back, I'll, we'll finish it up. Okay, y'all. I am just finishing up with this banana pudding. And I'm just going to take some remainder of that Cool Whip and just spread it on top. And it's going to blend in with the pudding. That's okay. All right. And so what I like to do, I like to take some wafers and just stick them down in the edges. Some of these stuck together. I don't know why. That way, I always make these for like church functions or whatever. I always, when I do a banana pudding, I like to put my wafers where they're visible. That way people know that this is, they'll get, they'll know when they see these wafers that it's likely a banana pudding. Like when I do a red velvet cake, I always do some, uh, uh, pieces of red velvet of uh, red velvet cake on the top that way people know that it's a red velvet cake so I just take whatever I have a few cookies left and I'm gonna crush them up Just give that a good little sprinkle. It looks so pretty. Y'all, I made this, I make several of these when I go, uh, like I've y'all have heard me say before, I've cooked in youth camps before. Um, and the one I've met, the one I've cooked in is uh, a youth camp in South Dakota. And our church always went uh, to minister there to uh, the Sioux Indian tribe um, and they love desserts and so every night on the menu I did some kind of dessert so I made them I made several of these because you know you're feeding a bunch of people but the youngins up there love this nanner pudding someone call it nanner pudding they love this so this is a favorite there you go y'all that is easy. It's actually very easy. No cook. Um, nanner pudding. <laughs> My husband calls it nanner pudding. He loves it. And it's easy. And it's good. But now it's better to let it sit. So I'm going to cover it and let it sit. Uh, it's best to let it sit overnight or at least for several hours. At least four to six hours before you serve it. It'll get better though. But overnight, y'all, it is so good. But there you go, y'all. I hope you make it. If you make it, let me know. I will upload this recipe under the recipe section of my photo albums on my page. I will um, upload this recipe, y'all, for you. Okay? All right, guys. So, thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Hope you all enjoy this nanner pudding uh, where it's nothing fancy. It's just good eat. Bye, guys.